Welcome to a world where nothing is as it seems. A world where the unusual becomes the usual, where the weird becomes the acceptable. Welcome to Tales of the Strange. Today's story is As the Meadow Ends by Matthew G. Rees. One man went to mow, went to mow a meadow. Za, 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 za. Went to mow a meadow. In these bright acres, summer issues a sudden last gasp. The final surrender of her season, it might be said. Though what's left, of course, is just the husk, the carcass. Flies. Do you hear them? Swarm in the oily melt of a heat shimmer. Their specks a blur one minute, sharp as pins the next. Meanwhile, all about me, brittle and crisp, the stalks of the hay that stands unmade, uncut, gone to seed, this year at least. Two crows, I take them for, flap in a fluster from the wood to which I'm headed. They bat and bicker with each other in a ragged duet. But their skirmish is soon over, and they settle again soberly in the tops of the trees. Suddenly, overhead, an altogether different sound, which, although not loud, drowns everything. The lazy drone of an aeroplane. I look up and spot its small shape. It's the first I've seen in months, perhaps even a whole year, high and unfettered in the otherwise empty sky. Shielding my eyes with one hand, I raise the other and wave. Doing so, I realize that down here I must look like some lost soul at sea or stranded in a desert. Squinting upwards, I wonder how long the plane has been airborne, the aerodrome from which it has come. In my mind, I see its windsock and hear its shudder, a scarlet-sided fish rushing, striving in streaming sun. Although the aeroplane's physical form persists, its drone somehow subsides. The aircraft, a light one, seems to stall and hang there in the sky. And as I look and listen, I seem to receive something here where I stand in the meadow. A crackle, a call, tinny, indistinct, but audible in the air. It's a shard, something that lasts a second, framed by a fuzz of static, but detectable in it, tension, panic. I lower my arm and the sky falls silent. And then I hear an echo of the pilot's words, as if to a control tower, a brief burst of staccato speech that sounds oxygenated, masked. Suddenly, as quickly as it is quieted, the plane's engine seems to restart. Its wings and fuselage lift, 
and its small cruciform disappears, the drone of its engine dying, gradually, in an easterly lake of sun. For an instant I have the clear mental image of its landing ground, the one from which it has flown, dock-leafed, dandelioned, distant in miles and years. The shadow of a cloud consumes it. Around me, the flies of this field, my meadow, begin again their dance and whine over wherever it is that lies here, dies here, in the long dry grass. I enter the waiting wood and drink in its lovely coolness, delight in its merciful shade. Behind me, in my shadow, comes the most peculiar thing, the strangest swing. It is the motion of the meadow being cut at a stroke, at last, scythed. The lot of it, in the way that cities, even civilizations, fall. A simple sweep, a blissful reap. And now I must march on. One man went to mow, went to mow a meadow. Went to mow a meadow. You have been listening to As the Meadow Ends by Matthew G. Rees. The voice was Peter Richards. Tales of the Strange is directed by Hugh Novelli and produced by Fluellen Theatre Company.